Nature is truly full of surprises. According to some scientific researchers, there are almost 9 million animal species in the world. It's natural that we know very few of them. How do you feel when new, bizarre creatures make an appearance in front of your eyes? They may be cute or terrifying. It's no wonder that we don't know all of them, but still, there are unreal creatures out there that are too freaky to handle. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Moreover, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. Pink Fairy Armadillo This funny creature you won't believe actually exists. It's the smallest species of armadillo mammals, mostly known for having a bony armor shell. Endemic to central Argentina, these armadillos primarily feed on ants and larvae. This armadillo species is found in several protected areas, including the Lahu Kalel National Park. Both national and provincial legislation is in place specifically protecting the species. Wolffish This ferocious looking fish, which is rare and unseen, can reach lengths up to 39 inches and weigh as much as 90 pounds. Found in the tropical climate of Suriname, it comes out at night to feed on other fish and small invertebrates. Apart from their unique appearance, wolffish are distinguished by the natural antifreeze they produce to keep their blood moving fluidly in their very cold habitat, involvement by both the male and female in brood bearing, and the large size of their eggs. Thorny Dragon It's an Australian lizard that grows up to 8 inches and they live for up to 20 years. They also use their distinct coloration for camouflage. The thorny devil is covered in hard, rather sharp spines that dissuade attacks by predators by making it difficult to swallow. It also has a false head on its back. When it feels threatened by other animals, it lowers its head between its front legs and then presents its false head. Striated Frogfish This small fish, just 8 to 9 inches long, has the capacity to change its coloration and pigment pattern. The first dorsal spine of the frogfish tips forward and is used as a fishing rod. Its tip has a characteristic worm-like lure which, when waved, attracts unsuspecting prey. Like other members of its family, it has a benthic and solitary lifestyle. They gather during mating period but don't tolerate each other anymore after the act of fertilization. The Red-Lipped Batfish this unreal-looking little fish species can be found around the Galapagos Islands at the depths of 100 feet or more. Batfish are not good swimmers. They use their highly adapted pectoral fins to walk on the ocean floor. It eats shrimps, small fish, crabs, etc. The red-lipped batfish has no known direct threats. However, rising sea temperatures and coral bleaching could pose a threat, as it would alter the natural habitat and may cause a decline in the availability of a natural food source. Mantis Shrimp Mantis shrimps have powerful claws that they use to attack and kill prey by spearing, stunning, or dismemberment. When kept in captivity, some larger species are capable of breaking through aquarium glass with a single strike. They are voracious predators, eating other desirable inhabitants of the tank. Some rock burrowing species can do more damage to live rock than the fish keeper would prefer. Boxer Crab these little crabs are notable for the mutualism with sea anemones, which they hold in their claws for defense. In return, the anemones get carried around which enables them to capture more food particles. Venezuelan Poodle Moth This unreal-looking moth species was identified in 2009 by Dr. Arthur Anker. Hard to believe about this bizarre animal's existence. These habitats include moist forest and high rock plateaus known as tapus. The exact classification of this rather remarkable invertebrate remains impossible at this point due to insufficient information. Malayan Kalugo Until recently, it was thought to be one of only two species of flying lemurs, the other being the Philippine flying lemur, which is found only in the Philippines. The head body length of the Sunda flying lemur is about 33 to 42 centimeters. Sunda flying lemurs live either solitary or in small groups that are loosely connected. They can be territorial in foraging and sleeping areas. They are mainly nocturnal. They are strictly arboreal, and in the daytime, they sleep high with dense foliage in the treetops or in holes in trees. With all four of their feet, they cling onto the trunk of a tree or the underside of branches. Star-nosed mole 
The star-nosed mole is a small mole found in wet low areas of eastern Canada and the northeastern United States. This little creature is easily identified by the 11 pairs of pink fleshy appendages ringing its snout. The study of highly specialized systems often allows better insight into more generalized ones. The mole's striking star-like structure may reflect a general trend in its less remarkable relatives, including humans. Tube-nosed fruit bat. This is a species of megabat and is found at the islands north of Australia, also in Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, and the Solomon Islands. This furry creature gets its name from the distinctive mustard yellow nose with tubular nostrils. This species group is generally solitary and adopts a daytime roost in dry foliage of the lower to mid-story of the forest. Ground pangolin. This odd mammal native to Africa is covered with extremely hard scales. When threatened, it will usually roll up into a ball, thus protecting its vulnerable belly. Capable of walking on two legs, the ground pangolin walks on its hind legs while searching for food, while using its forelegs and tail for balance. Little is known about the pangolin as it's difficult to study in the wild. Pangolins are solitary animals and only interact for mating. The lifespan of the pangolin is unknown, but the observed lifespan in captivity is 20 years. Abyssinian Ground Hornbill Also called the Northern Grand Hornbill, is an African bird found north of the equator. The male has a red throat pouch while the female has a blue throat pouch. Modified feathers from long eyelashes which protect their eyes from dust. Abyssinian ground hornbills are preyed on by large carnivores such as leopards. Human predation for food occurs in some countries, including northern Cameroon and Burkina Faso. The nests may be preyed upon by smaller terrestrial predators. Abyssinian ground hornbills are not a normal quarry for commercial hunters, although they are not uncommon in captivity in zoos. The Goblin Shark Sometimes called a living fossil, it's usually between 10 and 13 feet long when mature, but since it lives of depths of 330 feet or more, it doesn't pose any danger to humans. The goblin shark has been caught in all three major oceans, indicating a wide global distribution. A few specimens have been collected alive and brought to public aquariums, though they only survived briefly. One was kept at Takai University and lived for a week, while another was kept at Tokyo Sea Life Park and lived two days. Scotoplanes. Commonly known as sea pigs, these little deep sea animals live on ocean bottoms, typically at depths over 0.6 miles. Scientists confirmed scotoplanes are deposit feeders and obtain food by extracting organic particles from deep sea mud. They live on deep ocean bottoms, specifically on the abyssal plain in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean. Some related species can be found in the Antarctic. It has been observed to demonstrate strong preferences for rich, organic food that has freshly fallen from the ocean surface. Lion's Mane Jellyfish It's the biggest known species of jellyfish in the world. The largest recorded specimen washed up on the shores of Massachusetts Bay in 1870 and had a bell with a diameter of 7 feet 6 inches and tentacles 120 feet long. As a cold water species, these jellyfish can't cope with warmer waters. The jellyfish are pelagic for most of their lives, but tend to settle in shallow, sheltered bays toward the end of their one-year lifespan. Dugong This large marine mammal is one of four living species of the order Serenia and is the only strictly marine herbivorous mammal. Sadly, due to the extensive hunting for their meat and oil, the dugong is close to extinction. The Australian state of Queensland has 16 dugong protection parks and some preservation zones have been established where even Aboriginal peoples are not allowed to hunt. Cantor's Giant Turtle This freshwater turtle can easily be identified by its smooth, olive-colored carapace. Up to 6 feet in length, the turtle spends 95% of its life buried and motionless, with only its eyes and mouth protruding from the sand. It has been considered to be among the largest extant freshwater turtle. The species is endangered and in the 20th century has disappeared from much of its former range. Naked Mole Rat The naked mole rat, also known as the sand puppy, is a burrowing rodent native to parts of East Africa. 
Their large protruding teeth and sealed lips are used to dig while preventing soil from filling their mouths. It lacks pain sensitivity in its skin and has very low metabolic and respiratory rates and is also remarkable for its longevity and its resistance to cancer and oxygen deprivation. Panda ant. These insects have a lovely appearance but have a nasty sting that is excruciatingly painful. This is why they are so-called cow killers, since they're capable of knocking out animals much larger than they are. This species was discovered in 1938 and inhabits the Chilean sclerophyll forests. It has been referred to as the panda ant due to its coloration. With a white coat covering all of its head except the eyes and black and white spots appearing over the rest of its body. Eye Eye Apart from its frightening appearance, the Eye Eye is famous for its unusual method of finding food. It taps on trees to find grubs, gnaws holes in the woods using its forward slanting incisors, and then inserts its narrow middle finger to pull the grubs out. The Eye Eye is often viewed as a harbinger of evil and killed on sight. Others believe if one points its narrowest finger at someone, they're marked for death. Some say that the appearance of an Eye Eye in a village predicts the death of a villager and the only way to prevent this is to kill it. Tufted Deer It's a small species of deer, characterized by a prominent tuft of black hair on its forehead and fang-like canines for the males. The tufted deer is mainly solitary or found in pairs. It travels in fixed routes about its territory, which is vigorously defended by the males. It's a timid animal and prefers places with good cover where it's well camouflaged. It can easily be disturbed, and when alarmed, it will let out a bark before fleeing, moving in cat-like jumps. Arawati Dolphin This oceanic dolphin found in discontinuous subpopulations near sea coasts and in estuaries and rivers in parts of the Bay of Bengal and Southeast Asia, an adult can exceed 290 pounds and can reach lengths of up to 7.5 feet. These dolphins are thought to reach sexual maturity at 7 to 9 years. In the Northern Hemisphere, mating is reported from December to June. Its gestation period is 14 months. Cows give birth to a single calf every two to three years. Yeti Crab The official name of this strange crustacean is Kiwa Hirsuta. This decapod, which is approximately six inches long, is notable for the quantity of silky blonde hair covering its periapods. It was discovered in 2005 in the South Pacific Ocean. This decapod, which is approximately 15 centimeters long, is notable for the quantity of silky hair covering its thoracic legs, including claws. Blobfish The flesh of the blobfish is a gelatinous mass with a density slightly less than water. This allows the fish to float above the sea floor without expending much energy on swimming. They are typically shorter than 30 centimeters. They live at depths between 600 and 1,200 meters, where the pressure is 60 to 120 times greater as it is at sea level, which would likely make gas bladders inefficient for maintaining buoyancy. So which one do you find most bizarre? Let us know in the comments section. That is all for now. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.